morning, welcome to today's video and welcome to the first day riding out of Las Vegas through Death Valley and into uh, eventually Yosemite. First leg, it's a short one, we're going to Parham. We're starting off with a pretty big climb and then uh, halfway through the day, turns downhill, downhill all the way. Do you remember what happened last time we got this cocky? Hey, hey, we. Yeah, you How are your legs feeling, man? To be honest, I'm um, surprised. They kind of feel a little bit tired. <laughs> Mine a shot. Yeah. But I think they're going to get better. It's just when you have... We've done three miles, man. Yeah, when you have days off, though, they all tighten up. Yeah. And you buy the shop out of ice again. Put all the ice. Just realised this valve's fucked. How much do you hate that tube, though? I didn't film what was just going on. What's just happened? That's how much you hate that too. Looking out for the snakes. Careful of the snakes, man. No, no snakes. I'm afraid. I think we've made it to the top, dude. That's the top, brother. What's a fucking album? Oh, are we interrupting your video, Lawrence? Sorry. You are like Foghorn Leghorn, to be fair. And that's coming from me, and I'm fucking loud. Well, this is proper cool. We must have averaged about 35 miles an hour over the last section. It's been downhill, straight road, the whole way. Oh, you got a flat. Lawrence has got a flat. Right, we've stopped for two reasons. Lawrence, you're looking very colour coordinated to the sky right now. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Puncher, bit of glass. Yeah. Uh, We're I not can't. even on the freeway this time. I can't believe like. how many punches. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I got blood pouring out my nose. And you've never had a nosebleed before? Never had a nosebleed before. It's because it's so, so dry. So, man. Lawrence was saying that before we came out here, that, um, that apparently people do get nosebleeds out of here because it's just so dry. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to cut up this sock and stuff it up my nose. Fuck off. Is that a Sacco sock? No, nah, it's not a Sacco good. sock. I'm not going to cut a Sacco sock up. Yeah, good. Uh, no, these are clean. Yeah, he brought loads of socks with him and then I gave him a stash of Saccos. Imagine stuffing worn socks up your nose. <laughs> So uh, judging by how quickly we're doing this section, um, we're going to arrive in Purim probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock, which will give us a bit of a chance to do a rundown on the equipment we're using, because I know a few of you guys have asked that. So bear with us, we're going to ride there and then show you our bikes. Please don't film me, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence, your bike just killed the bollard. You bent here. Look at that man. Yeah, I know it, it felt it felt it had it coming, mate. Do you get bitten by a rattlesnake? No, I get bitten by a rattlesnake. I can taste it. I'm really fucking over riding in the desert now. We came, we saw, we got burnt. How far away until we get out of the desert? Three days. Uh, a couple hundred miles. I ordered all the breakfast. Carb loading. It's one of those trips where I'm not sure if we're gonna finish it thinner than we started. Oh, I, we will. We bloody should. I've lost a shitload of weight already. It's mostly because I've lost all of the water that, it, that was residing in my body. It's not there anymore. <laughs> you do look like a skeleton. <laughs> The other day when you like, Doing anything in this heat is just so much harder. Like you take a bottle out of your cages and your heart rate goes through the roof. <laughs> it's just it's just unbelievably hard. It's quite cool though, isn't it? It's very cool. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Gatorade. <laughs> it's cool, sir. Oh. It's a Gatorade sandwich. <laughs> it's a sir sandwich. Turn this is the grumpiest I've seen you in this whole trip. Um, no, I think it's more just the fact that her... He's hot dog. I haven't, had, of you I haven't had much sleep. <laughs> I got no. a nice seven hours sleep last night. Seven hours? Yeah, man. No, man. What we were got, you doing? We got up at five, before five. Yeah. We didn't go to bed at ten. Ten thirty? Eleven. That's enough sleep. No. 
This is nice, huh? It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, compared to some of the places we've been staying. But you know what, though? Oh, even, not, even though the... Um, I mean, even, even though we've stayed in some pretty... They've not been too bad, have they? No. I mean, I haven't stayed in anywhere where I thought, oh, Jesus Christ, this is a bit gnarly. No. Um, but they've all been clean. The first night was a bit... That's a sunburn, mate. We need a sunburn update. Shit. So what do we want to do? Run down of the equipment. So you guys have seen my bike already. Uh, we've already covered the pannier rack, which is carbon fiber from Tailfin. So far, it's been absolutely brilliant. Super sturdy, quick to take off for punches, and I uh, couldn't be happier. On the front is my only other bag. It's made by 8Bar, and it's basically got a waterproof housing that you can put whatever you want in, stuff it in there, and then you do the clips up. And then it's got a small pocket at the front where I've kept all my stuff that I need to get out quickly, like inner tubes, any extra food that I don't want to put in my pockets. A uh, bit of a lip salve because the uh, weather's been so dry. That means I've got all the space in the frame for big bottles, which has been really useful. And uh, when we've had to carry extra water, I've just been shoving it in the panniers because they just have endless space compared to the two other guys. The only downside to this setup is the aerodynamics and all of the weight is pretty much over the back wheel. Lawrence has been using a frame bag, a front bag, and a rear bag on the seat post as well. The seat pack obviously sticks out quite far, but it's more aero. You're carrying about the same weight as me, aren't you? The major difference I'd say between the two setups is probably similar space, um, but mine takes about an hour to pack every morning. <laughs> and it's, it's really, really actually quite frustrating for me to see you perfing in your bag and I'm ready Done, to go. Done, five minutes. Whereas I'm just like strapping things to the outside and trying to stuff things in. It's just, they're good bags, but um, yeah, I mean, there's there's advantage and disadvantage with both, you know. Didn't you step on one of your bags? No, James kicked one of my bags and broke the buckle. So now I've got a uni buckle instead of a duo buckle. Double buckle. Yeah, double buckle. That's what they call it in France. James has got exactly the same setup as you. He's carrying different stuff like medical thingies. Instead of drones, uh, cameras, cable salad and uh, laptops and stuff like that. I've been carrying Lawrence's laptop because this is the only setup that lets you carry a square kind of book-shaped item. And I've given him some cables in return, which are really heavy, like with the power block of the laptop and all that stuff. Your power block is bigger than a brick itself. <laughs> and, and you know what Francis gave me, when we first got to here, he gave me a shaver. Like, look how light we're traveling. He gave me a shaver, like an actual shaver and a mouse. Did you just use the shaver, Lawrence? The mouse is the Did you just use it? I though? did just use it. <laughs> exactly! Oh, hi! <laughs> just been chilling out there oh, all day. Oh, dude, you got the, the mower's back. Yeah. My name is Inigo Matoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Yeah. Should we get an Uber? No. Where Uber are we going? Well, well, yeah, we can get an Uber, but <laughs> we're in the middle of the desert. Uber. We can't oh, get an Uber. How good is Chinese food going to be in the desert? Probably yeah. really bad, mate. It will be really bad. I don't want to get fucking food poisoning. You're going to ride across bloody Death Valley. That is the healthiest meal any of us have had in the whole time we've been in America. I didn't know vegetables existed in this country. What's the plan for tomorrow, dude? <coughs> 70 miles. 70 miles. Uh, 2,000 feet of climbing. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a short day. It's a small day for us. It's, it's bizarre, isn't it, how you kind of Look at that! Like, given the given the, the riding that we've been doing over the last week or so, when you th look at it's seventy all, it's miles, all relative, isn't it? it's all relative. <laughs> it's just like seventy so miles at home, Surrey Hills. That's like cool. A whole, whole weekend. Well, two thousand feet of climbing at Surrey Hills. That, that, seventy miles in Surrey Hills is, is about that, isn't it? I mean, it's probably a little bit more. I think I speak for all three of us here, where we're all a little bit sick and tired of riding in the middle of the day. It's just biblically hot, um, and I think. We're we're probably we're we're just gonna we're gonna get up early tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a four a.m. start, four thirty roll out, and get some of it out. We get the the lion's share of the ride out uh, in, in in darkness more or less. So it's it's about twenty five degrees um, in in the early early hours of the morning. I think the main problem for us is is just the sun, because it is serious. I mean, I've I've got blisters on my neck and like we are. The, the three of us are burned. I mean, Lawrence has got horrific burns on his back from from um, through the, having sunlight through his jersey. I've got it all over my neck. Yeah, um, I'm not sure how I've got away with it so well. But it hasn't helped by the fact that you've been off the bike for a month and I've been off the bike for a month. Uh, so I'm yeah. hearing a lot of excuses over there, man. The, the views, the, the the views of through Mojave 
w- would make you weep. I mean, it's just it, I'm completely humbled and speechless by the whole the whole trip so far, uh, and and some of the stuff that we've seen. I'd recommend it to anyone. Probably do it in December though. <laughs> <laughs>